Hello, everybody. This is Rob Swatsky from the York Campus of Hack, and in this podcast, we'll be reviewing the different types of skeletal muscle fibers. Although skeletal muscle fibers share many similarities, they differ in their cellular features and function. Some of the differences include the amount of the oxygen binding protein myoglobin within their fibers, their number of mitochondria, and their supply of blood capillaries. Red muscle fibers have a darker color than other fibers due to their higher concentrations of myoglobin, mitochondria, and capillaries. Red muscle fibers are also what we call the dark meat in chicken, while white muscle fibers, or white meats, contain less myoglobin, mitochondria, and capillaries. Because of these variations, the types of muscle fibers display a range of contraction speeds, metabolic differences, and levels of fatigue resistance. They can be classified as being either slow or fast based upon how quickly they hydrolyze ATP using their ATPase enzymes during muscle contraction. There are three main categories of skeletal muscle fibers slow oxidative or SO fibers, fast oxidative glycolytic or FOG fibers, and fast glycolytic or FG fibers. Skeletal muscles are a mix of these different types of fibers. Slow oxidative fibers have a dark red coloration. Fast oxidative glycolytic fibers have a dark red or pink coloration and fast glycolytic fibers have a white or pale coloration. Slow oxidative fibers are dark red in color due to their large concentrations of myoglobin, mitochondria, and blood capillaries. They are called oxidative fibers because they produce lots of ATP primarily through the oxygen-dependent reactions of aerobic respiration. They generally have a smaller diameter than the other types of fibers and store low amounts of glycogen. They are classified as slow or slow twitch fibers because they have a relatively slow rate of ATP hydrolysis and an overall slower contraction cycle and speed of contraction, also called contraction velocity, that lasts from 100 to 200 milliseconds. They have excellent fatigue resistance and can carry out extended contractions for hours. They are used by the body to maintain posture and are abundant in the neck, back, and legs, can help us stand, sit, drive, and hold yoga positions for longer periods of time, and are also used for aerobic endurance activities such as long-distance running. Fast oxidative glycolytic, or FOG, fibers are similar to the slow oxidative fibers in that they also contain large concentrations of myoglobin, mitochondria, and capillaries, have a dark red color, and can produce moderate amounts of ATP through aerobic respiration. Of the three fibers, they often have the largest diameters. They can also store more glycogen than the slow oxidative fibers, which allows them to produce ATP through anaerobic glycolysis. This ability makes them moderately resistant to fatigue. They are labeled as fast twitch fibers and have a faster speed of contraction, around 100 milliseconds. They can hydrolyze ATP three to five times faster compared to the slow oxidative fibers. These fibers are more abundant in the leg muscles and are used for many activities such as running, sprinting, and walking. Fast glycolytic, or FG, fibers have the lowest concentration of myoglobin, mitochondria, and capillaries. This absence of cellular features gives them a more pale color, which is why these fibers are called the white muscle fibers. They are able to store very large quantities of glycogen and produce ATP mostly through anaerobic glycolysis. They are the second type of fast twitch muscle 
and can also rapidly hydrolyze ATP, giving them a stronger, fast contraction speed. But they have the lowest fatigue resistance of the three fibers. These fibers are more commonly found in the muscles of the shoulder and arms and are used for brief, intense anaerobic activities such as weightlifting, throwing, or moving heavy furniture. The diameter and strength of the FG fibers can also increase during strength training through weightlifting due to the higher levels of muscle protein synthesis. This leads to an increase in overall muscle size and mass called hypertrophy.